Now we have some more exciting updates to give you from our project maintainers, this time from Kubernetes. So sit back, relax, and let's see what's new in the world of Kubernetes. Hi everyone, I'm Nabarun from the Kubernetes Steering Committee, and today I'm going to bring you some major governance updates. Steering Committee's goal is to plan for the long-term sustainability of the Kubernetes project, protecting contributors, fostering contributor growth, and engaging commercial contributors into committing resources. First, we have added a new role called subproject lead, expanding on our existing subproject owners. This is largely to formally recognize the people who have already been doing the work. This will pave the way for new people to get into leadership and clarify responsibilities. Second, our annual report process is completed. The annual report process helps community groups in painting a complete project health picture. You can scan this QR code and go to the repository and look at the reports for each of the community groups in their respective directories. You can also find past annual reports there. You can go to our GitHub repo to know more about what we do. Hello, everybody. Welcome to KubeCon. My name is Federico Bongiovanni. I'm co-chair of C API Machinery for Kubernetes Open Source, and I work for Google. C API Machinery is responsible for all the Kubernetes control plane, which includes things like Kube API Server, the Persistent Framework, the Controller Manager Framework, and extension mechanisms as custom resource definition and webhooks. Did you know that we own about 25% of the Kubernetes code base? That is a large piece of the pie. Some exciting updates are the things that we have merged in 128, a uh, special mention to sell and encouraging you to test our features. If you want to know more about us, this is where you find us. Subscribe to our mailing list, join our Slack channel. This is who we are, the leads, and then some useful links for you. Thank you so much. Hope to see you around. Hi, I'm Marley Puckett, joined by Eddie Zaneski on behalf of Kubernetes 6 CLI. SIG CLI is the special interest group responsible for all things command line for the Kubernetes project, including QKettle and Customize. Kubernetes 1.27 brought enhancements to apply prune, discovery caching, open API v3, and KubeKettle debug profiles. Kubernetes 1.28 graduated KubeKettle events to stable and added an alpha feature for interactively deleting resources. We're currently working on transitioning from Speedy to WebSockets. This will significantly improve things like Cube Control Port Forward. We're also working on separating out cluster configurations from user preferences. New areas that we're exploring are a new version of Cube Control Apply that is server side by default, as well as JSON path improvements or alternatives. We're looking for lots of new contributors, so please join our meetings at Wednesday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Find us on the Kubernetes Slack. We have a maintainer track session this week, and we'll also be hanging out at Meet the SIG, so please come by. Contributors to the Special Interest Group for Contributor Experience, or SIG Contribex, work to promote community health and reduce project friction. We thank Bob, Josh, Nikita, and Christoph for their work as they move to emulate a status from their current leadership role in SIG Contribex. Myself and Nabarun are the new co-chairs, and myself and Madhav are the new technical leads. We are passionate about helping new folks join the community. As such, we've created a new contributor onboarding course at kates.dev course where you can learn how to contribute with guided instruction and GitHub code spaces. Choosing our new project, Peribolos, open source projects can keep their old settings, themes, and memberships up to date declaratively. Recently, we've implemented new automation to streamline the process of uploading our contributor meetings from Zoom to YouTube. Also to encourage an active and engaged community, we are working on a project to audit our old members' contribution statistics to keep their ownership status up to date. You can learn more about SIG Contribex in our GitHub repo and join us on Slack. Hi, I'm Ray Lahano, and I'm with Kubernetes SIGDocs. SIGDocs publishes and maintains the Kubernetes documentation on Kubernetes.io. We're also responsible for the website infrastructure and tooling, like tooling to generate the reference docs for the Kubernetes API and CLI. Kubernetes SIGDocs is comprised of four subprojects, website, blog, reference docs, and our latest one, localization. Today, the Kubernetes documentation is available in 15 languages. Some of our new exciting updates is that we have a new name role called the issue wrangler role. 
this person, the issue wrangler, uh, will be a dedicated person to wrangle issues every single week. And we will have a, uh, a rotation of issue wranglers as well. We're also currently updating the localization contributor guide. Come join us at SigDocs. Uh, we could find us at the Kubernetes Slack and hashtag SigDocs, or you could also join us in our bi-weekly Zoom meetings as well. We meet every other Tuesday at 1700 UTC, and there's a QR code there for more information. Thank you very much. Hey friends, welcome to the Sig Release Project update for this KubeCon. Are you aware of all those awesome Kubernetes releases we did in the past years? I would like to give a huge shout out to everyone who was part of them. You are the community, this project needs to create a sustainable release process and therefore should software with such a huge impact to the ecosystem. Let's check out what's new. We released Kubernetes 128 back in August, and we are now looking forward to a successful 129 release by the end of the year. The release engineering team added support for shipping dev and RBM packages powered by the OpenSUSE build service. This means another big thank you to the OpenSUSE community for all your support in the past. SIG Release now also participates in the Linux Foundation Mentorship Program to get new folks on board and make contributions to the project more sustainable. Besides of that, we also keep getting latest Go versions into the supported release branches and we work on making the artifact signatures a first-class citizen in Kubernetes. Do you want to hear more about that? Check out our maintainer track session at this KubeCon. Hello everyone! This is Shibra SIG Storage. SIG Storage is responsible for ensuring that different types of storage are available wherever a container is scheduled in a Kubernetes cluster. We have some exciting updates for you. We have two GA features in Kubernetes 1.28 release. The first feature makes it easier for you to change the default storage class retroactively for an existing unbound persistent volume claim. The second feature is a non-graceful no shutdown. It allows your stable workloads to fail over to another running node if the original node shuts down unexpectedly or gets into a non-recoverable state. At Six storage, we always welcome new contributors. Come to our intro and a deep dive session at KubeCon to learn more. Thank you. Hi folks, I'm Michelle Shepardson, presenting the SIG testing update. SIG testing is responsible for the effective testing of Kubernetes and automating away project toil. We work on frameworks, tools, and infrastructure that make it easy to test and develop Kubernetes at scale. In the last year, we've made improvements to testing across the project. Some of our larger updates are that our CI platform, Prow, runs jobs against AWS and GCP build clusters, and we improve support code and guidelines for EDE tests. More on that at kubernetes.dev slash blog. Come find us at our maintainer trap talk later this con on the Kubernetes Slack at SIG testing or on GitHub at Kubernetes slash test infra. We're always looking for new contributors and we hope to see you around. So thank you to our Kubernetes speakers. Round of applause. <laughs> <laughs>